Welcome back, everyone, to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Heavenly Mocha Lover, and today we are going to repent our sins, as you can tell from the thumbnail, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ himself. But, unfortunately, not is all good in the holy land of the Serene Republic of the American Union State. Of course, it is 1944, October 25th, but we have an ultimatum from the Russian state. The Russian government has sent us an ultimatum about transferring Alaska. While in 1867 it was almost a wasteland, now it is a developing and prosperous region. How shall we answer? Now, off screen, they already demanded that we give them we, that they could buy it from us once. They demanded that they buy it from us. So uh, we can't risk another war. Sell Alaska for equipment and gold. That was the original option we had, or we could have said no, in which I originally said no. They won't fight over the Pacific. We will not give up the holy lands for some Russian tyrant. No, no, no. Okay, so, I know this is Kaiser Redux, and it's 1944, which means there's a lot of lag in the game because of the amount of divisions being produced. However, I went ahead, and pretty much for every major power, except for China, I think, I went ahead and just deleted, like, about 30% of the divisions, maybe 20% or 10%, just because of how the Second World War has gone. Uh, is Czechoslovakia supposed to look this weird? Um, Are they supposed to have that? That looks like a really weird Czechoslovakia. That seems a bit too... What the heck happened over here? Anyways, so this is how the World War II ended up. Uh, let's see, Cold War time? That is definitely the third international. I wish, oh, why doesn't the Switch Tool mod work for this mod? Ah, I want to give this to them and give this to someone else. Oh, it's so disgusting. But the Belgrade Pox still exists for now. The Ottoman Empire is in the Entente, as well as the German faction, I think. So, yeah, there's a German government in exile still here. That's kind of cool. And the Congo kind of exists, so... Um, so yeah, I deleted a lot of divisions. I deleted some from the Communist France, some from Russia, some from Japan. I did not delete any from China yet, just because they were still at war. And I guess Russia took over Heilongjiang, defeated from some of the Union of Britain. Uh, nothing from the Na French national state. Deleted a lot of the divisions from South America, even even Mexico, because they're our puppet. But apparently they've made some back, as you can tell. But just because I don't want this to be extremely laggy, and it's not too bad right now. So we've got a couple of comments to go through, and we do have our fleet here. So I think. I don't know. You never know. The Russians might still go to war with us, so... You never know. Uh oh. That was a little laggy there. Okay. Oh, oh. There must be more puppets. We're trying to get some more rubber factories. Refiners, really, but I want more rubber. So we don't have to buy any over the seas. Um, we're trying to build ourselves up a lot more, too. Just just building, building, building. We're currently recognizing philanthropists. But I wanted to show you that little event with uh, Russia. And what they want to take from us. Why is Portugal green? Like, oh, it's Brazil. Who are you, Patricia Reder Galveo? Oh boy. And I guess they have Emilia Varela down here too, so. Okay, cool. Um, we've been off screen. I've been trying to make more ships. Uh, make a lot more ships, actually. Make a much bigger army, even though I deleted like 30 some divisions, so. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Anything else around here? This would be very, very, very good to do, especially for subs. Uh, let's go and start doing it, just because we are making a few subs, as you can tell over here, too. Oh, wait, where are we? And I did send volunteers to help Belgium out, but they lost to the French. Unfortunately, they lost to the French. Oh, well. Uh, just help with the lag. There you go. Goodbye. So, we didn't finish everything. I already read all these over here, and we didn't finish all these yet. But we don't necessarily have to just yet. We could go back and go on the world stage, if we really wanted to. Even though, I do kind of want to do a little bit more of this stuff, which we're not that far down here. Um, we're still building up quite nicely. We've got a lot of manpower. You know what? I still want to do the protecting the, uh, protecting Colombia. It's not bad. Military research, military factories, uh, Colombia needs you. New weapon designs. Honestly, oh, another research slot would actually be very, very beneficial. 35 days, 35, ah, uh, but we'll do it anyways. Protecting Colombia. The Army College, or War College, Field Artillery School, Fort Benning, and many other major buildings, locations, and training sites have been damaged by the war, and the reconstruction should be one of our top priorities to bring the Army back on its feet now that the Civil War is over. Very, very good. Now, the SRI is still trying to fight the Italian Federation, which I don't have high hopes for the Italian Federation. Pius, Pope Pius XII, I'm sorry, man. I can't come to your help right now. Are you actually in the Anton, or? No, they're by themselves. That sucks. Oh, boy. But we're also in, with Jesus Christ, led by Philip Carroll. Who was who's the ancestor of this guy? Was it Carrollton? Some guy named Carrollton? Charles? I think it was Charles Carrollton. One of the founding fathers, wasn't it? That we saw earlier in this campaign. If you were here for that part of the campaign. So, I know sometimes... I don't always do this, but sometimes I do change my thumbnails. So, just because it, it, sometimes things just fit better. Oh, my only ambition is to be the first soldier of Italian independence. Welcome back. Well, well, I guess the Russians aren't going to go to war with us for now. And Oh, actually, you guys are still fighting each other. I don't like the Entente. So, 
I don't want to help you, but I also don't want to help you either. Hmm. I don't help either side. I really don't. We have way too many divisions for what we really need right now. Uh, oh, rebuild South Atlantic states? Sure, why not? Because we're trying to rebuild America, right? And we're currently on partial mobilization because we do have 48% war support. Thank you very much. Oh, there goes Malta. Goodbye, Malta. And we have loads of manpower, even though we're uh, lowering our conscription level. We still have Catholic America, Christ the King, foreign lifelines. Not very good, but that's okay. For now, what is that? Orange Man? Or oh, Orange Menace? Orange Man, whatever. But anyways, um... I asked you guys yesterday how you guys normally took out well, Serbia, but how you guys normally conducted your American Civil War when you play, you know, Hoi 4. And you guys said sometimes you guys just micro things extremely intense, intensely. And someone also recommended don't forget about making guns because I lost a lot of guns, which is very, very true. So, um, but I've repented since then. And hopefully, with God's holy light, I won't get too ragey. <laughs> so, maybe we'll see what happens. And at this point, because they won, I might delete some of the divisions off screen. Maybe just help balance things out a little bit more. I don't like the Russian cities here. I might have Ching China try to fight the Russians. Also, yeah, Japan is also in here too, but yeah. Regarding the American Civil War, micro things, make enough guns, make enough air forces, make enough stuff like that, but military research is next. After so many decades of isolation and the devastation of the Civil War, our nation lacks the capacity for military research and development of other great powers of the world. Let us begin to remedy this unfortunate reality. Good. Uh, let's keep going with the Air Force, just because we want to catch up in everything Air Force related. Um, if you like to read about this, it happens every single campaign when you play as America. So, we'll, this will give us an edge in communications. Very good. Very bueno. And except keep doing this, because we're going to need it. I really don't want to help either side here. Are there any other wars going on in the world? Because I want to get involved, but... Oh, yeah. Illyrian, Syrian, oh, Ostasian. Burmese-Sudanese war. What the heck? That's an interesting flag you have there, Union of Britain. I don't... Oh, oh, hello! Look at who's leading them. Yeah, I'm not sure that, if they would still use that flag. The, was it the Union Jack? I'm probably wrong about that. Also, I did... Okay, so the thing about Germany, I wanted to limit the amount of lag and amount of German states there were. So I gave it all to the southern Germans, but I can't... I couldn't court because they don't have the state transfer tool available, so they get a lot of resistance around here, which kind of sucks, but... It honestly looks a little bit nicer. Germany split in two, instead of one massive Germany, for, like, between these two. And it's literally the Cold War, because that's part of the Third International, and then the Berlin's over here. I hate to be Polish right now, though. That would really suck. That would really, really, really suck. Wow. Uh, keep building some more stuff up here, even though we're building a lot more roads. Okay, Liberia. And actually, we've got more than enough equipment right now, which is very, very good, even though we just need to research and build, 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 build. So, even if we don't go to war with anyone else in the campaign, I would like to at least get through the focus stream. That's my goal. Get through the focus stream, maybe. And then maybe call it a campaign. If we go to war with the Russians or the Eurasian bloc, great. If we don't, oh well. So, and actually, how many screens? Ooh. Oh, good. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to pause the game anymore. Just because, like, we got to just keep pushing ahead. So, improve light guns. Then we're going to grab some of this one. Advanced light guns. Oh, that's very, 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 very nice. And, oh, that's commander training. Happy 1945, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Magnet detonators. Go oh, grab some of this. Awesome. Cool. Jordan Hampton, thank you very much. Who is this guy? The Trial of the Pacific Generals. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Mid uh, mid this happens every campaign. So, with the struggles that we have with this, spare them. Discharge them. Exile is the only thing traders deserve. And this is the same thing I did off screen with the companies. Uh. Actually, let me read this first. Massive numbers of demobilized servicemen will be a major issue in the aftermath of the Civil War. We should create education and jobs training programs to better reintegrate them into civilian life. But regarding this, like the companies, even the Pacific companies, I just went ahead and just told them, nope, shut them down. They're not allowed to live here, so... No. Goodbye. And military research. Uh, with, we are having our best efforts, scientists and business leaders look into what we should invest our efforts into guns, artillery, tanks, or, or improving our own adoptions, which we choose. Guns, artillery, well, I'm not sure how much we have for tanks, or everything else. Tanks is probably the way we want to go, because we still on ground battle plan. It's not great, it's not bad. It's definitely not the best, though, as we discovered earlier on, which I should have seen coming, but try the Federal Journals. If you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. This happens every campaign. But where is, well, well, frankly, where's MacArthur? What am I supposed to do with my pee-pee? Like, we got so much of it. And we don't have any tank designers, which makes sense, because we kind of X out a lot of people, but whatever. And if they're not going to say anything to us... Wow, we're making a lot of ships. Um, I'll send you guys over here, actually. You can start making the next section, maybe, of ships. 
So let's go and train for now and finish. That'd be good. And the Constitutionalist Generals. Ah, the funny, funny guys. Spare them. As much as I want to spare a pen, I can't do that. Exile. Exile all of them. Rebuild Alaska. The Rocky Mountain States first. Look at that. 644 man... Or factories, not manpower. Uh, let's go and grab this one next. All or nothing cruiser armor scheme. Very, very good. After the GI Bill... I want to do America back on the stage, because I want to see what's going to happen. Now that our position as a world power has been restored to us, it is a time to figure out where we fit into the scheme of things. Most of our politicians and people are urging us towards isolationism. This would be simple, as it would mostly continue the foreign policy America had before the war. However, every isolationist is different, and some say it would be wise to seek allies in this changing world. Empress of the Americas does not have a democratic America. The treaty of... A new treaty of Tordesillas? Portug what? Oh, Portugal? They joined our faction? Wait, how do we get... What the heck is that? New Treaty of Tordesillas. Whoa. Oh, there goes those guys. And a fifth research slot. I love it, my friends. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Crusade against Angloism. Oh. Reclaim New Spain. Guadalupe and Empire. Syndicalist countries in both North and South America can be attacked. Whoa. Pax Philippica. Integrate the Dominions, Americanist Doctrine, Review the Monroeism, Populist Alliance, um, Current Ruling Party. So we can't go down this way because we are National Populists. Also, kind of sucks. But it's alright, we got more than enough opportunities to go down this route sometime. Oppose American Syndicalism, Align Nationalists, Stop American Warmongers, <laughs> Strike Left Expansionists, Liberate Carlesian, Argentina, Break Military Aggressors, Favor Paraguay, Independence of the Americas, Mutual Trade, Research Initiatives. Oh boy, that sounds like fun. Cool. More extraction, please. Thank you. Could always use more rubble, which we do, which we are improving upon, which is very very nice. And keep building up more infrastructure, just because there's so much infrastructure that has to be built up here. Did you know Massachusetts is known to produce rubber? I didn't. And can we at least go for this one next? Oh, that sucks. We cannot. Uh, six, seven days. After this armor scheme, I love doing this stuff. Depth charge throwers are actually pretty nice to do as well. Ah, that's pretty good to do as well. I want to produce these ships as fast as possible. Depth charge throwers are really, really good to have, though. Oh, there goes Delhi. Well, the Bharatiya Economy is one. Good job, guys. Good job. Actually, even after this episode, I might just go ahead and delete some more divisions. Just But to keep things balanced, you know, actually to keep things balanced, just because lag is no issue. Well, lag is the issue that I want to avoid, so... Uh, back on the world stage. So we can't go down this way. But what? Isolationist relief? Isolation doctrine? Northern boundary defense? Naval prominence? Defensive military tactics? Pragmatic trade? America first? Which makes sense for the policy we've kind of gone down. Peace in our time? Well, I don't know. Huh. I mean, okay, so that's actually a lot of support for me to go actually go down um, the go with the House of Stewart to put it the Stuarts back on the throne for our path. So I'll go down that route and then probably in a different campaign. At the time of this recording, I don't want to do two routes of, of something that's very, very close and similar to the, at the same time. So I think I want to wait to for that, okay? So we'll do that eventually, but not for now. I did do want to do Knights of Columbus eventually. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'll pause it real quick then. Um, that doesn't really matter too much. That stuff doesn't matter too much either. Keep going with our... Ooh, almost we're done with our air doctrine. Nice. Back on the world stage. Oh, rural electrification. Civilian factories can be so good. Um, veteran work programs are pretty good, probably good as well. Uh, you know what? We'll do infrastructure efforts. Technology is rapidly changing our world. The automobile is becoming the main mode of transportation for many people. And we must adjust accordingly. Let us build up our roads and bridges to handle this new demand and create a national highway system. So this way we don't have to build those roads anyways. And it helps and it says our country will continue recovering from the Civil War. Do we have any things from that? Ooh, local political power gain... Attack on core territory is not bad. Uh, Wayland reforms. Close air support attack. I should use more close air support. Totally. Maritime industry is not bad. Look at that. Naval base construction speed is pretty good. Dockyard construction speed. Unpopular government, which is good to get rid of. We still have Orange Menace. Foreign lifeline. Other than that, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Um, still improving military factories. Making tons of ships. Making tons of light tanks, too. All right, upgrades. Let's see. Tactical bombers. Threes. Yes. And then carrier fighters ones jump jump past two into three. Yes, very good. We got plenty of support. We got we have now more than enough equipment. Holy crud. 
Like, we really have more than enough equipment. I kind of wish that these guys would attack us, but... The Fall of Algiers? Oh, boy. So, after this one... Oh, man. We're doing this for the Lord. Right? Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. And would, would he want us to... For us to isolate ourselves from the world? We've seen what the world can do. And we have the strength. Blessed by the holy man himself, Philip Carroll, as well as Jesus Christ, to do the work of the Lord around the world. We are charitable, right? So... <clears throat> The Lord said, venture out and make the world a better place, right? Be fruitful, multiply, right? And you know where they have a lot of fruit? New Spain. <laughs> this is such a stretch. I'm trying to make it, but we're going to the Empress of the Americas. I've never, I don't think I've ever really done an isolationist relief. I might do that if I play just straight Huey Long again. Or, or, no, no. Uh, we might do that. I'm thinking about whenever I play as Pelly, we might do isolationist or even just an Americanist doctrine. We might do Americanist doctrine. But for now, the Empress of the Americas, blessed are the peacemakers, champions of the just, endowed by the Creator, are they. Will the destiny manifest to restore the law, law of God through, through their usurpation of American decadence? And now, with the continental U.S. cowed and their enemies made to repent, comes the American Empire to undo the legacy of corruption that European arrogance loosed upon the free world. It is with the blessing of the smile of the Creator that the Holy American League shall march across the great American continent and exalt the gospel of the Lord to its long forsaken people. Amen. Uh, look at that. There you go. Amen, indeed. Keep building, 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 building. Um, actually, radars stations would be really good. I always build radar stations around every corner of the continental U.S. and then Hawaii and these... Actually, why is, is Hawaii on Harris? Oh, did Hawaii ever leave? I don't remember if they ever did. Just in case, though. Oh, we also... Eh, get up some more naval doctrines there. That'd be nice. There you go. Advanced carriers. Soundtrack pro uh, propaganda. Why not? And then we'll do some of this. Torpedoes, because we can. Yeah, definitely Oscar, I'm going to cut off quite a few more divisions. How many divisions do they actually have right now, though? Uh, air production. Oh, they have a lot of planes, probably. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, divisions. They still have up to 300. I mean, you guys have none. Uh, France still has up to 200. So, realistically, I didn't really cut them back too much. So, uh, yes, yeah, Empress of the Americas. Because I want to get a little bit of action in this campaign. So, the new treaty of Tordesillas. It was Iberia that brought the Americans a concert of opulence and imperialism as the scions of Braganza, Bourbon, and Habsburg sought to brighten the light to bright the light and wisdom of Jesus Christ to an underdeveloped indigenous populace now with both the U.S. and Portugal united in their vision of a godly union and the Spaniards distracted with affairs of mainland Europe. It shall be the union that the South American continent shall be united and divided. And then divided, with Portuguese returning to the rule of Brazil and the remainder of the South partition between their empire and ours. We create our own faction, the Holy League. Beautiful. We get more manpower. Wait, why is it 56% more non-core manpower? Why is it 56%? Is it like like the parallel? Like the 56 parallel or something? Division recovery plus 10%? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, it's going to be Alaska. Oh, wait. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, the lag. What's going on? Oh, so, someone's. Oh, oh, oh boy. Death charge throwers. Cool. Might as well get the next one level too, right? Or passive sonar. Ah, eh, might as well. Whatever. Ah. Oh, don't tell me. You're... Oh no. Oh. Wow, that is disgusting. Look at this. Oh boy, that does not bueno, as I would say. Mm, we don't need more divisions for this. Give me like two of you guys. I can't imagine Puerto Rico has that many divisions, you know. Oh, screw it. Give me three. There you go. Man, when you liberate Africa, it just lags so hot. Wow, that other those divisions over there look really bad. Uh, more. Oh, yes. We never lost this, huh? Santiago de Cuba. Alright, so I don't think these guys are going to attack us anytime soon, which is good. There you go. The Tubu uh, commune is gone. Very nice. Instead of doing that, guys, go ahead and train for now. And you guys come over here. Very good. Wow, that is pretty laggy. I know I said I wouldn't want to pause it, but I, and I don't want to, but... Guys can... Uh, Uh, 
Um, oh, I put you guys over here. That makes sense. Okay. Wonder what state did I put these guys in? Oh, there's nothing. Okay, that's good. Uh, how about you guys instead just rebase here in Miami? That'd be good. Let them do that. And next research will be done actually in a few days. Oh, more dockyards. Empress of the Americas, a new treaty of Tordesillas. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but that's okay, right? Let's grab some more rubber processing, shall we? Very good. And. Ah, uh, advanced cruisers? I want modern cruisers. Modern. Oh, modern heavy hulls. Oh. Um. What else do we need for this? Well, we don't, can't even build it because we enough, not, don't have enough naval XP, which sucks. Anything else we can throw on here? Maybe level 3 and eh, whatever. Infinite carriers. Goodness, we need a lot more naval XP. Oof. All right. Hey, look at that. Not bad. Pretty good. We're building up a pretty good fleet. Ah, I love the naval stuff. Infiltration bombing. Let's just go for the next one. Let's get all that stuff done. After passive sonar, we're going to get even more active sonars. And... Electric torpedo. Modern cruiser holes. Very good. That's the only one we really need. Okay, that's fine. Ah, look at that. Another cruiser. Pretty good. Go and train for now, too. Uh, you guys can come here. You guys can come here because we will take out Puerto Rico. And after the, the treaty, actually, when the next which should be done in two weeks, uh, the crusade against Anglism, reclaim New Spain. Technically, we already have Mexico under us because they declared war on us, but with the sophistry, sophistry that so warped the Spanish Empire in the era of the colonial dominion, it was inevitable that they, like us, would push their former masters into the sea. And as misguided as he was by his Republican ideal, the armies of Simon Bolivar's Gran Colombia were clearly righteous in their cause by revolting against the Spanish. It has opened the doors to instability as syndicalism, liberalism, militarism have all run rampant across the northern Andes. From Bogota to Caracas, we shall rem remedy this. And re crusade against Angloism. We have one card left to play on the North American continent, one that has been blighting American citizens before its existence. The House of Windsor, the royal progenitors of the British Empire and the imperial overlords of half the world. Now the world, like us, has thrown off the yoke of Anglican basilis, and now all that remains is a pompous, indulgent fop and his lackluster siblings, all crowded beneath a rusty crown atop a frozen throne beyond the river St. Lawrence, the heirs to a symphony of, of destruction for which we shall write a requiem. Good. I do like doing that one, so we get a chance to receive less hits. It's very, very good. Ah, oh, see, the car asked to join our faction. Not that car, not the American car, but, you know, the Central Amer What the heck? The Central American Republic has put forth a request to join our military faction. While we could can receive an additional ally who could potentially control the Pan Panama Canal in the future, the balance of power in the region could be destroyed through such a move. <laughs> Central America is by Brazil, right? Yes! 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 Now the Holy League is here, and the Entente is running out of allies. Oh, the Z League League. Our quest has been accepted. Um, okay. Oh, look at that. Not bad. So who's the, who's the majors against or in the Entente? Is it just Canada now? Uh, Canada and the German government in exile, which kind of sucks, but they're probably going to die eventually anyways. Jamaica... Well, Australia's and Confederation still exists, but they're not that strong. The German government in exile has about 95 divisions max. Kingdom of Canada has quite a few, quite a big industry. Uh, let's take a look. Hmm, not bad. You guys have a lot more manpower. You're on all adult serve. A lot of divisions, but still. One thing I do want to fix here. Need more air bases. More planes, more planes. More planes, more radar, more everything. We must dominate the enemies no matter what happens. Next research will be done soon. We got so much PP, and I don't know what to do with it. Where do we stick our PP? Uh, and war bombers? Sure, yeah. Let's, we gotta start improving our the capabilities of our uh, air force. We definitely don't have a big enough air force for all this stuff. All right. Which means we're going to need to make way more rubber. Fighters? No, we need, yeah we need more. We definitely, absolutely, one hundred percent need more rubber. I don't want to import it. I want American rubber. Cool. And we're building up a pretty good navy. I'm not going to lie.
And we'll reclaim New Spain, which would be very nice, even though we don't really need to do it. Honestly, like, if Mexico is already a puppet or we have annexed Mexico, this should all just auto bypass. Because it doesn't make any sense why it still exists. There you go. And you are a Thinko right there. Thank you. Go and repair real quick before we go to war. And reclaim to Spain. Keep building, building, building. Our soldiers are pretty much ready. It's going to be a pretty bloody fight against these guys since we don't have a massive air air force. So who are you? Oh, there you go. More fighters, good. Uh, there you go. Good. Is that another one? Oh. Active sonar, and then we'll go with this one. More attack, more attack, rubber processing. We're going to grab the next thing of rubber processing. Doesn't really matter to me. Good, good, good. And firefighting drills, and then we'll probably get even better stuff like there. Or maybe we'll get some landing craft. That could be pretty good as well. Invasion defense, so that'd be probably pretty good to make sure our Marines don't die on the way over there. And... Soon enough we'll have it. So, oh, 70 days left for that one. Okay, that's not too bad. We can wait to see that one. Alright. Neutral states are gone. Oh, look at that. Oh, I guess... Oh, maybe I sent you guys somewhere else, huh? We technically have those two tanks divisions, but meh. There you go. Get this next one done as well. Modern cruiser, so that we can make some more. Super firemen would be very helpful. But we got to focus on base strike. Oh, we can go to war with these guys too. Okay, well, maybe we'll go to war with these guys first. Let's go in. Oh, they want a non aggression pact. No, I don't think we will. And then we'll go to war with those guys over there. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. They got a lot of divisions. Well, that sucks. How much manpower does Puerto Rico have? They have a lot of manpower. How, many, how much population do they have down there? Uh, two days left. We're going to keep going. I don't care how many men we have to sacrifice for this one. we got plenty of manpower in reserve. Beat him up. Oh, wait. I just looked at that. 1.59 million, huh? All right. All right, we got him. Wait, what the heck? What happened? We got him, but you didn't? What? How did that work out? What? The garbage? Uh, what? What the... Why did you retreat? Guadalupe and Empire. We'll get that one done eventually. So let's go and do next. Uh, rural electrification, which I already read yesterday. So if you want to read about that again, please go right ahead. What the heck? I said you guys were going to win, and you just gave up? What the hell is that about, man? Yo, do we call all of our allies in? Call our allies in. Come on. I know you can win. You've won before. And is he becoming an invader? That'd be kind of cool if he was. Yeah, he's 8% becoming an invader. Not bad. Slowly, hope he's going to win. Slowly, even though we're losing a lot of strength. 9% for becoming an invader. Not bad. Uh, I don't want to have you guys invade too, but we'll do it if we have to. Where's the button to demand that they submit to us? We can do that one. We might as well get more wars, but for now, anyways. Um, no, no. Yeah, well, you're gonna lose you, so just go ahead, go hold. Pathetic. 
Absolutely pathetic, Puller. Pathetic. Yeah, no, we won the battle and yet we lost? That doesn't make any sense. How does that make any sense? You guys are ready to go. Come on, reinforce faster than that. I'm gonna work. Kill Canada. Killed every single one of them. They supported traitors to the cause. Oh, to the Holy Kingdom. No more. No more. Good. Oh, look, there's a fleet down here. Wow. Holy crap, what is he what is going on down here? Holy crud. We lost an escort cruiser. Whoa. Convoys go burr. We lost one plane versus look at all these ships. Forty two screens of this battleship. My goodness. Are we not even done yet? Holy crap. Oh no, that's not good. They threw in more ships now. Holy smoky daddies. Death to the Canadians. Uh, we didn't even do our naval doctrine yet. Get that fleet in there. We lost a destroyer. Yeah. We got Jesus Christ, why are they so weak? They've had all game to... Oh my goodness, we sunk two battleships. And the Valkyrie gears ships and such too, but still. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, we lost a destroyer in two planes for five battleships, a cruiser, five escort cruisers, 12 destroyers. Oh my goodness. Have all the capital ships go home and just repair. Seriously, what the garbage. Canada 100% deserves all of this. Supporting enemies in the Valkyrie or against in our war? No. No, you're going to kill every single one of the last one of them. Oh, oh, look at Jamaica. They're out of fuel. So that means they can't fuel an Air Force, right? And that's 100% right. Bomb the heck out of them. Still want to go back to war with those guys, but that's alright. Uh, yeah. How many men have we lost? Against those guys. We lost way too many to Puerto Rico. I'm going to burn Puerto Rico to the ground, too. But, let's see. Only a third of a million, huh? It's not enough. Go to Halifax. Rural electrification is nice. At least we get a little bit more conflict here. And then state grants, why not? I already read this one last time, so if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Hey, not bad. And even more rubber. How's rubber looking now? Minus six is pretty good compared to we were at, where we were at before. But holy, how did we... with our? We don't even have our naval doctrine done. We barely started it. How, do we re, how are we doing so well? We don't even have planes up here. Ah, look at that. King Henry flees the Kingdom of Canada. He can run, but he cannot hide. The Australian Confederation, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess we won this one. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do this one off screen. The poor Ottoman Empire is going to die here. So, I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So, here we are at, in which I took. I decided to take Panama just because it makes sense. I guess we're fighting Costa Rica, too? Or at least a puppet is, or, you know, Central American Republic. But I gave a lot of the territory to the Union of Britain, as you can see, as well as a lot to the French, just because... <sighs> Red Imperialism. But happy 1946, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. And, yeah, other than that, not too much has really happened. I gave this to the Russian state for some reason. And I gave them Constantinople. And I gave all of Greece to Bulgaria, just because... Why not? So, regardless, my main goal, of course, is to <clears throat> eliminate the French Arenos. So... And now we have a lot of lag. Oh, Jamaica? Oh, yeah, we took Jamaica. Following a brief campaign, Kingston's under control with all of it. Jamaica, which we do with the island. Oh, uh, we're just going to keep holding on to it. Fate of Panama. After a rapid campaign about the Panama Canal, we finally managed to shatter the Panamanian defenses. Panama City is now in our hands. We must decide on the future of Panama. Under friendly government, retain ownership of the canal, but at least some. Give it to our Central American allies. Keep the canal and give Panama to our Central American allies. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to them. I like that answer the most. Even though, hmm. Probably a really bad idea. That's going to go fairly okay for us if we do this first before we do that, so. Come on, just keep killing the Canadians. 
literally the kid. Oh, wow. Um, well, we've done a lot of damage to him. Not nearly as much as I'd like, but, you know, whatever. Oh, look at that lag. Oh, you gotta love the lagging Kaiser Reich Redux. Oh! Okay, well, this should go a lot more smoothly for us than for me to do off screen. I'll do a straight up annex them all. I don't really care. That should be pretty quick, right? Yeah, there you go. Die, Canada, you piece of garbage. Cool. 11, 10 days left. Uh, too bad we can't beat up the Navy anymore. That kind of sucks. Hey, look, a little bit more lag, but that's alright. Alright, let's pause it real quick. Uh, but what about our naval battles now? Uh, come on, tanks. Let's get down there. Come on. Should have bust down there. Ooh, prospect for resources. That'd be kind of nice. Come on, come on. We have a lot of uh, war support. We actually get more war support every single week. Not stability, though, which is kind of disappointing, but that's okay. Uh, Fate of Canada. I don't mind losing war support then. Hmm. Rebuild Puerto Rico? Oh, we'll kill them. Oh, we will kill them. Oh, my goodness. You know, I wish there was an option in Kaiser Rector, Kaiser Redux, where you just annex them. I hate losing stability in war support. And it does make sense, but it just makes the game lag even harder. Like, what's the point of doing it if you're going to make the game lag so hard that you don't even want to play it anymore? I don't know. And come on. Come on. Can we arrive, please? Oh, my God. Seriously. Yeah, they need to really set up, like... And, like, if this third international wins, they really need to set up, like, okay, instead of the commune, Turkish coming, why don't we just have, like, a giant, like... Don't call it a colonial block, but, like, a uh, new administration block underneath a certain area. So that you can have all these guys under one little contingency here that has cores, but it's, like, Germany after World War II in our timeline. You know, kind of like, it's kind of split from everyone else off, and it's a puppet of someone else, but, like, just reduce the lag. Like a massive third international syndicalist type of deal there. But, keep the not give it. There you go. Tank, why are you, why are you on the far side here? Why? Uh, Iraqis, why? Oh, that's a lot of lag. Oh, yeah, I also gave the Union of Britain this territory, too. Workers' Republic of Yemen. Seriously, like, that, I, I have, I'm, has that idea not been prospected before? Sudan is here too. Um, but, like, just give it one government civilian administration or something. Uh, just go and move in. These tanks are not very good. We inherited them. Uh, can we come in and join your war? I don't want it to manually just fight on these guys. I really don't. But we'll do what we must. Carousel bombing is very nice. Got some of those too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bay to Canada. Alright, let's see. Finally, the corrupt Dominion of Canada. Home of the British exiles have capitulated to our glorious armies. Excuse me. Reports say the king in this close circle fled the country, but this doesn't matter. We need now control over the large portions of the land. What should we do with them? Liberate them? Liberate them. Our manifest destiny doesn't seem to concern. Frenchmen, liberate Quebec and annex Canada. It's our manifest destiny to annex Canada. For the duty of Christ and the kingdom of his, you know, his love. We must continue to con fully annex Canada. Especially the Quebec part, so. Of course, that, actually, maybe that's what helped us out. Shell dies, and we didn't even do base strike yet. Um, guys, let us help out. Let us, let us, let us, let us help out. Seriously. Seriously. What the heck? Why can't I go to war with these guys? Ah! so stupid. Why can't we just go to war? Let me join. Why? That to make no sense, but at least we have a dockyard here. Kind of nice. Base strike. Carrier primacy would be pretty darn nice. Just in case, just get over there. Holy crap, this is stupid. Um... These guys aren't even 20 combat. Uh, yeah, I'll maybe, maybe get some better tanks. Oh, it's going to take a while for us to get even some relatively okay tanks. I've completely ignored tanks in this campaign, which is a bad idea. Just take San Jose, please. Can you please just take San Jose? Oh, we're fighting the Germans still. Oh, why are we still fighting the Germans? Oh, they're going to die off soon enough. There goes Peru. Goodbye. Oh, God, no, that's not good. Uh, who else do we have war goals against? Oh, Mexico? Why would we want to go to war with Mexico? They're our funny buddies.
Mm, nah, we're good. Hey, look, ships. Nice. Oh, please, please, game, stop liberating countries. It, it's got to be game rule, right? It's got to be game rule, right? Where you can just make sure that no one gets liberated or stuff like that. Please, come on, just call me in the war for the love of God. Okay, they might actually actually have just won here. Let's see if they did. Okay, maybe not. Do we still need just go to lemon, a limon? Oh, good, good, go, 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 go. We love San Jose, but hurry the heck up. Oh, Monte Cruiser is nice. Alright, it's not bad. It's really not good at all, but hey, it's not bad. Five, and at least for now, get more speed, I suppose. There you go. Cruisers? Well, goodbye, cruisers. Three, four. Not bad. Could be better, though. One, two, three, five. Oh, wow. We're building a lot of uh, naval bases here in Florida, just in case we need to repair a lot of ships. Loads of ships, because we definitely do need to repair a lot of them. Okay, at least they got that done. At least that's somewhat nice. Oof. Uh, don't do that there. Um, I guess you technically come from here, too. It's not bad. So we're still aboard those guys. State grants, and can we do this one next? Wait, Guadalupe and Empire. Oh, the Hestabla has fallen the death of Ark Regent Carol. Well, that sucks. We have to wait? That really sucks. I don't like that. But let's keep going on this side then. Not to Columbus. I read this one yesterday. If you like to read about this one, please go right ahead. But that really sucks that we have to wait? Oh, why do we have to wait? Oh. So then when does our guy die? And we are really focusing on getting more and more factories, which means we're going to need way more rubber. Rubberino, guys. Rubber, 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 please. So in the meantime, I guess we get some shell dies. Let's go a little bit more on tanks so we can at least make some good uh, tanks for those guys. Which means, eh, you know what, screw you guys are becoming marines. Nice. These guys aren't too bad. Throw on these guys. And these guys are 40 combo with anyway, so that's not too bad at all. You guys will be kind of green for a little bit, but that's alright. There you go. And... War propaganda, thank you, even though we don't really need to do that at all. Uh, we do want to go to World Rides, but what is this? New Treaty of Tordesillas. Very good. Uh, order restored in Greece? Oh, monarchy restored in Greece. Alright, let's take a look. Wow, looks like the Kingdom of Serbia has some severe huevos down here. Wow. Severe huevos. That looks really bad, though. Yeah. Mm. Moscow Accords, Belgrade Pact. Belgrade. Belgrade. A lot of third international. That is not going to be fun to fight against. Oh, Zeta Clique 2, which are still fighting the Brotherhood of Eurasia down here. Wait, are they? Huh. They're still in their own little faction. Oh. Oh, they, did they literally just annex these guys off, on, like, right now? Oh. Whoa. They're unching. Wow. Okay. I haven't deleted any more divisions yet, but I'll, I'll continue to do so a little bit more off screen, like, after this episode, so. So basically, we're kind of stuck waiting a little bit for now, which is, you know, okay. It's okay. It's not great. So, let's come over there. And then you guys go right there. That's, that'd be nice. Two million manpower. We're still demobilizing. Wow. Oh, God. We need more chromium. So be it. Uh, do we want to trade with anyone else here? Not really, no. Uh, Are you in any faction? Not really. I hate how long it takes for us to justify other people. So garbo. Do we have any air bases around here too? We could probably use some. There you go. Come on, Marines. You're actually Marines this time, so. Nope. 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 And I do want to be ready for the naval wars between us and the Empire of Japan and Russia and stuff like that, so. Cool. We're not going to wait around here. Same thing with you guys. They can pierce us, which makes sense, but still. Our tanks aren't very good to throw at as a naval invasion. Uh, do you have any upgrades, actually? No, that kind of sucks. Man. Yeah, the Marines are definitely softies. Did we not make any air bases here yet? Come on. Advanced rubber, even more rubber, thank you, thank you. 
Uh, the tanks might still win, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, oh man, the Marines are not very good right now. Yeah, we need to increase our organization. Oh boy. At this point, I should have made nukes. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's pause it real quick. Uh, get those interwar bombers for more space, and... Some casts. Come on, come on. God dang it. Uh, yeah, okay, so at this point, with the insolence, or the... Polar is not doing very well for us, as neither of the tanks. But, because of this, I'm going to burn Puerto Rico and San Juan to the ground. And let's just say, what happened in the past with the colonization, that's going to be child's play where we're going to end up. And I'll say that with a smile on my face, too. So. We actually are doing some naval damage, or air, air damage, which is kind of nice. Eh, not too much, though. Not too much. Could be better, but they're still struggling. We got about eight days left. Man, you guys really sucked a fat one. Alright, next up, duplicate both. Ah, militarization of the Knightly Orders. Over the past several months, with the increasing prevalence of Catholic dogma over the American psyche, a strange phenomenon has begun to occur. What originally began with the Night Watchers, those brave Catholic volunteers devout in their adherence to God and fervent in the ideals of equality and solidarity with the countrymen, has rapidly blossomed into a multi-pronged phenomenon across the country. These groups have been adopting their pledges to house iconography iconography, and customs of fully-fledged knightly orders in the fashion of the old European Crusaders in Maryland. The birthplace of American Catholicism, urban youth from Washington, Baltimore, and the resurgent St. Mary's City has reorganized themselves as around the personal teachings of mantras of Philip Carroll and his family line as part of the epitomous Knights of Duke Horrigan Manor. In New York City, the austere and indomitable African Americans from the five boroughs have chosen to honor the bravery of the Harlem Hellfighters with the official formation of the Brooklyn Brotherhood. In New England, throngs of haughty, red-haired Irish Americans have flocked to the patriotically self styled anti temple in defiance of the decadent king in Canada. In the steel built the once heartland of the syndicalist minutes, there have been a plethora of men and women from Chicago, Detroit, and Cincinnati, many of the medical workers who have joined the new Red hospi Hospitalers to guard against the pro-Canadian propagandists across the Great Lakes. A similar phenomenon has sprouted up in the American Southwest, along with the border states with Mexico. Militias have taken cues from the southern neighbors, with many women and Mexican-Americans found in the old Sonora Charter in honor of the Cristoros. Along with the, and along the Pacific, what started with a number of white volunteers in Oregon and Washington soon began to incorporate a growing number of Native America or Native American converts to defend the nation from internal and external threats in the stalwart order of the heartland. All these groups and patriotic groups of patriotic, pious soldiers, these modern-day warriors of Jerusalem have humbled Philip Carroll in the embrace of God's teachings, so much so that, that he has immediately enacted a decree to officially absorb these orders as an official part of American military. Here, they serve locally and abroad as a sterling example to all the cultural unity and martial tenacity that God has brought them. Deus votes! We get JFK! Whoa! Whoa, 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 that's kind of cool, man. Uh, but you know what about liberalism? We're going to criminalize the debauchery of liberalism. Liberalism is a disease. Not only has it warped America into a state of pure heresy, but also let the people like Long assume ultimate power for himself when it fails. To truly save America, we must not only stem the tab, but call it. What do we do with our peepee? -pee? Seriously. Whoa, 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 who are you? Oh, anti-Templars. That looks really cool. As much as I want to keep these divisions, I think I've got to go with the 40s. So you guys are going to be 40 combo with divisions, and I'll throw you all, like, uh, as much as I want to separate you guys, I'm going to just go and do this. It just makes more sense for us to do it like this, but that's really cool. That's really, really, really cool. How are the tanks still in battle? Seriously. The Marines gave up really badly, and we, and, you know, we did force the attack, but... Still, what the heck? Alright, Marines, you can try it again. Primary carrier primacy, do it again, just in case, because we will have to fight the Red Navy eventually. Like, let's be real. The Red Navy is going to be coming up along and trying to blow the crap out of us, so that would not be very good. Good. And get some more medium bombers or whatever. Man, these Marines are just god-awful. Puerto Rico? Economic... Recession? Okay. I am going to continue bombing the hell out of these guys, so... That's really, really disappointing with these guys. Incredibly disappointing. You send 40 combo with Marines, and they can't deal with Puerto Rico. So sad, man. Um, well. Sometimes, you just need a young JFK to lead, even though he's politically connected. And he's a worse general. Oh, well. Hmm. 
go with that one. Ooh, medium tanks. Yeah, yeah technically, yeah, we should make some. We don't really need them right now, but that's okay. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's get rid of some of these older stuff. We don't really need some of these older stuff. Naval bombers. As much as I want to make them, I don't like dealing with this like through the one channel that we already have. Banshees. I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh god, I hate part of this so much. Ugh. Uh, even it, it takes forever to upgrade them too, so it's just easier to destroy them, make some new stuff, especially in this point of the game. So, and eh, go do that too. And eh, go do that too. Why not? Uh, I'll keep some of the strategic bombers, but uh, keep the 88s. There you go. A little better. Cool. Oh, one thing that would help us out though is using our spies. More technical bombers. Oh, you can duplicate you and duplicate you. Good. Even more. And spies. Spies, spies. I cannot keep forgetting this. Spy master, yes, please. Do that. This will definitely help us out here for this stuff, too, so. I'll put down resistance somewhere. Jamaica, maybe? Sure, why not? So, because doing the spy stuff down here will help lower their, their um, entrenchment. So, that's really good to get. What do we have here? Oh, Sun Super Events. I stop telling me that. Seriously. Wh why would anyone want to silence it? That's not cool. We like the Super Events. Oh, we're looking really good on that stuff now. And ship wise, uh, not bad. Could be better though. You guys do that. Oh, do we have a? Oh, Dreadnought. Nice. Uh, instead of you guys doing what you're doing, go and train. I want to make sure we get some more naval XP too. So, all right, you guys ready to die again? Not sure why you're taking so long to get your organization back up, but okay. With even more naval bombers and spies here. Wow, Germany's lost quite a few guys. Oof. Yeah, these are worse than the uh, infantry. My goodness. You guys actually might be able to win against these guys, though. Yeah, the, the Marines. Really bad. Why are they so bad? I mean, yeah, I know we get more organization, but still. But settling the score. Until a justified removal of Long, the Orange Order was only a minuscule Protestant group that held a small expansion during the Civil War, but due to the falsehood instilled in Protestantism, this group has been able to expand rapidly as they begin counter begun to counter our forms of Christ's kingdom. This has led to our military officers planning a cunning plan to destroy this heretical group once and for all. Oh, we actually get more attacks there. I should have done this a, lot, a long time ago. Alright, well, just put the tanks under JFK and he'll win the war for you. Or at least win the battle. Wow. Why do we only have 100 planes doing this? Probably because the range is bad, but still... Tear down the false pagan goddess of liberalism. As a warm embrace of God's bosom uh, cascades over the American heartland, a great anger has been felt by our fellow countrymen. An anger directed at the icons of sin that scar the metropolitan centers of our cities. Statues everywhere dedicated to the false idols of democracy. They are the foul trick of the Masons and Jacobins of the world that arrogantly built monuments to false freedoms of republicanism. Even as they fattened themselves on slavery and suffering of the common people, all in the name of their so-called liberty all across America. Statues dedicated to the old American idols of democracy and justice are being torn down. Lady Justice, the embodiment of judicial corruption, has herself been judged guilty. The nigh and the statues of American folk heroes and founders of these grotesque monuments to poisonous enlightenment thought shall be torn down and replaced by vestiges of the holy saints and martyrs of Christendom. Last of all, the repugnant green pale monument to the false god of so-called liberty disgracing the skyline of New York City, a gift to the Freemasons of America from the Freemasons of France, or rather a statute uh, to satiate the egos of the American oligarchs and their Jacobin cohorts, a revulsion against the new American spirit. Regent Philip Acosta Carroll, in his pious wisdom, has decreed that the so-called Statue of Liberty shall no longer continue to persist. The limestone fresco shall be entirely remade, forged into a visit to the Blessed Virgin Mary, a tribute to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. O oh, come, ye faithful. Oh, yes, please. Wow, look at that. How are they doing so well? JFK! Pull her. Please, pull her. Why? What's the next sect done to? Uh, oh, keep doing this. 
on a few days, but still. Come on. Let me click that button. Okay, they're going just so they can stop the stuff from going on. Billy Bernard? Sure, Billy. Come on, let's win, 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 win. Oh, we, we got him. Uh, I'm very confused how why this is working like this. Quite confused. Now, we don't have supply, which is very bad. Oh, but the Marines can do finally well. Or force the attack. This is so weird. It's, I'm not even angry. Like, this is, this is just... Wh how? Why? We've lost 50,000 Americans to these guys. And you know how, what the population of Puerto Rico is going to be after this? Like, 10 guys. And those 10 guys are all going to be part of the bureaucracy to help m manage the other... Everyone else. Or each other, really. Puerto Rico's going to burn. Rebuild Puerto Rico. That's good. And... Uh, all right, so that took way longer than it really should have. My apologies, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, duplicate you guys. But really, all you guys are going to go here. But have you guys. Go back over there. Uh, n no, please don't do it like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do this manually, but whatever. Give me half you guys. There you go. There you go. And there we go. Let's let time go on. All right, not bad. Um, really, is Colombia in a faction? Hmm, this could probably really be really bad. But I kind of want to get a little more conflict under our belt. Who else are we justifying on? Ah, oh, Cuba. That's right. So let's not do that. That's gonna take too long. Uh that kind of sucks. This this focus tree is not great. Just because we have to wait till our King Philip the Second does dies for the Guadalupean Empire, which I don't necessarily agree with, because, oh my goodness, it takes so long to get there, man. I just want to go to a war with the guys over there. Oh, what are we, what, are we lacking something? Hold on, what's this? Oh, Germans, okay. Um, close air support, obviously, is not very good. We need to improve that. Are we making any cast? Doesn't look like it. Light tanks, no, we have some cast going along. That's, that's, it's going. Odd. But right after this one, we're going to go for M6 Shermans. No, that's actually M7s. Ah, uh, we shall do... T nukes. We gotta get nukes. At this point in the game. Yeah, it's lagging pretty darn bad that we gotta get nukes. Uh, I wanna get the next focus done, and maybe we'll call it an episode. Light tank arenas, thank you. Thank you very much. Gotta keep remembering to do that too. Not bad. Not bad. Go to Puerto Rico. Uh, no. We're gonna court, so I don't know why we would even have that event, but whatever. Topeka is still their capital, and Canada's gone. So I think eventually I'm going to have some sort of war spawn between the Russians and the French, the Third International, the Moscow Accords, or the Eurasian Bloc, whatever they call it. Uh, and I might delete divisions from Zealand. I'm going to delete a lot more divisions just overall, Eastern Seneca Union, just so it, it, it's a little more, let's say, balanced perhaps, but uh, just so it's a little bit more smooth. And we're going to take out a lot of South America too. So I'm really treating this basically as a brand new start to the new campaign because of what we've done so far. Because there's there's a lot left to do. A whole lot left. So, And we've got about two weeks left for that. But after settling the score, uh, really? Oh, you know what? I guess we'll just send it here then, because I can do this off screen, because I don't want to deal with this. Unless this is really, oh, it's not going to be quick now, is it? Uh, the common friends can, deserves all this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this off screen. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do the other focuses about r finishing up construction from the Civil War. In the next episode, we'll talk about more about the Catholic branch of the focus tree that we have and continue to fight through Central America as well as South America. So, if you like the video, please do consider leaving a like. It does make me feel better that you guys actually like my videos. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll watch Europe probably burn. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.